and then in rotor 2 here we have two interface interface range eth00 to 01 uh, we need to configure the ip rsvp bandwidth 500 500 and then mpls traffic engineering tunnels on both of this interface look at here show ip rsvp interfaces can show us that we enable 500 kilobit per second of bandwidth to both of this interface uh, for the traffic engineering also we can configure the rotor 3 this is the rotor 3 interface range eth 00 to 01 ip rsvp bandwidth is to uh, 200 and then mpls uh, traffic engineering tunnels that's it okay let me to configuring the rotor for this is the rotor 4 interface range eth 00 to eth 0 uh, for example one ip rsvp bandwidth is 200 and then mpls traffic engineering tunnels that's it and finally the rotor 5 interface eth uh, for example 00, 0 ip rsvp interface uh, ip rsvp bandwidth is 500 or 500 500 for example mpls traffic engineering uh, tunnels okay then interface eth01 let me to configure ip rsvp bandwidth 200 look at here do show ip rsvp interface can show us that by default when you don't configure the uh, for example a flu a, a, every flu uh, for every flu the bandwidth the uh, bandwidth is equal to the uh, for example 200 this means that if you don't configure the largest flu uh, bandwidth allocation process uh, not, uh, value the value is equal to the uh, for example first bandwidth you know that this is the uh, bandwidth that every, all of the flus can uh, consume and can uh, be allocated uh, for them in this interface and this is the flu for only this is the bandwidth only for one flu if you don't configure the second value the default value is the uh, for example uh, interface maximum allocation bandwidth value okay and after that in the interface uh, here we need to configure mpls traffic engineering tunnels okay let me to show you show run interface eth00 and also eth01 here we have the correct configuration very good until now we configured the mpls traffic engineering tunnels and rsvp also in all interfaces with full bandwidth of interface for one and total tunnels very good the next things the next part of configuration is that enabling npls traffic engineering in ospf or traffic engineering in ospf means lsa type 10 and configuring uh, for example rotor id the command is rotor ospf process id npls traffic engineering uh, for example area then area number or area id mpls traffic engineering rotor id interface interface name it's so easy let me to configure them starting from the rotor one here is the notepad file let me first configuring this look at here in the notepad file i'm going to use this command mpls traffic eng okay rotor id look back uh, for example zero then mpls uh, traffic eng then uh, for example area zero or quad zero okay this is the commands that we need on all rotors r1 then r2 then r3 okay after that r4 and finally r5 let me to configure these commands on the rotor 1 to rotor 5 rotor ospf1 mpls traffic engineering then rotor id look back uh, for example zero then mpls traffic engineering the area uh, for area zero look at here do show ip ospf database can show us that now we have type 10 lsa very good it's correct in rotor 2 conf t rotor ospf1 then mpls traffic engineering rotor id is look back zero after that mpls traffic engineering uh, for example area zero then in rotor 3 let me configuring the rotor 3 rotor ospf1 mpls traffic engineering 
but uh, let me before configuration of this command i'm going to show you the sh do show ip osp if look at here when you don't uh, configure didn't you didn't configure the ospf here we have the normal information about the uh, for example ospf and after configuration of the ospf uh, the traffic engineering in ospf you can see some new statement in this command let me to show you look at here mpls traffic engineering uh, rotor id is looked back zero and then mpls traffic engineering area are zero again do show ip ospf here we have a new command area a new uh, statement area has r r r or 3 r enabled what is the r r r or triple r r r r or triple r uh, maybe you see this uh, 3 r with uh, the r3 okay a statement and this is the abbreviation of the routing with resource reservation routing with road resource reservation this means that we are using the traffic engineering in this ospf okay uh, area has three r enabled area has routing with resource reservation enabled and also you know that we are supporting the opaque lsa the lsa uh, type 10 okay that's it now we can uh, configuring the other rotors for example, rotor 4, in rotor 4, again, rotor OSPF1, MPLS traffic engineering, then, uh, for example, rotor ID loopback 0, MPLS traffic engineering area, then 0, that's it, and finally, the rotor 5, conf T, okay, rotor OSPF1, MPLS traffic engineering, rotor ID loopback 0, and MPLS uh, traffic engineering area, zero okay that's it this is the configuration of the uh, traffic engineering in the igp protocol in this scenario ospf this is the step six and let me to configuring the step seven in step seven we need to configure the mpls traffic engineering tunnels from the r1 to r5's look back zero the bandwidth requirement is 150k and the explicit pass is from r1 to r3 to r4 to r5 what is the explicit pass you know that the bandwidth requirement is 150k and this bandwidth requirement can be achieved from the higher pass or from the uh, for example bottom pass why because uh, here we have 500 kilo per second of bandwidth and also here we have 200 kilo per, kilobit per second of bandwidth but for uh, some reason the administrator wants to use the uh, for example bottom pass for this requirement we have one option to configuring it you know that in the previous scenario we configured the pass option with dynamic command but we can uh, configure the pass option what uh, for example uh, to uh, three uh, methods let me to talk about this look at here when you are configuring the uh, tunnel a uh, te tunnel okay we have some options we have some we have some choice for a uh, pass selection or pass option okay the, the first is the dynamic for example dynamic means the igp should select the best pass according to the requirement okay and you saw the dynamic in the previous scenario and also you will see uh, the uh, for example pass option dynamic in future videos but also we have one another option this means we have the option of explicit pass and also the next option is the semi-dynamic you will learn about all of these methods in the future video videos but now i'm going to talk about the explicit in explicit pass the administrator should choose the best pass okay or the desired pass for example in this scenario we need to configuring the interface uh, for example tunnel uh, zero okay in the rotor one from the rotor one to the destination of the uh, look back zero of the rotor five one ninety two one sixty eight two five four five okay and the requirement of this tunnel uh, one of the requirement of this tunnel is the bandwidth requirement you can configure multiple requirements and you will see about them in the future videos for now the bandwidth requirement is 150k you know that in both paths the pass from the rotor one to rotor two to rotor uh, for example five we have the bandwidth of the 500 kilo this means that this pa this uh, pass can uh, for example give us the requirement and also in the bottom pass we have from the r1 to r3 
to R4, okay, and then uh, to R5, we have 200 kilo. If you use the dynamic method, uh, the, uh, for example, MPL traffic engineering should use the higher pass. But uh, I need to use the, uh, for example, bottom pass for the, uh, for example, this tunnel. Here we have one option, explicit option. 